Welcome everyone back to The Real News Network. I'm Jared Ball here in Baltimore. Joining us once again for Facing Reality and our weekly look at the specific crisis of political imprisonment is Jihad Abdul Mumit. Jihad was himself a political prisoner as a result of his work with the Black Panther Party and Black Liberation Army and works now as co-coordinator of the National Jericho Movement, whose mission is the freedom of all political prisoners. Welcome back to The Real News, Jihad. Welcome. Thank you, Brother Jared. Peace and blessings to listening audience. So you have some uh, updates and clarifications for us on some political prisoners, including Matulu Shakur uh, and several others. Could you please update us? Because I know there was a lot of confusion going around over these last couple of weeks around, weeks around his case and the status of several other political prisoners. Yes, indeed. Um, so Dr. Matulu Shakur, uh, he himself, along with the hundreds of other supporters around the world, were anticipating with a lot of joy and excitement of him being released um, on February the uh, 10th last month, which he wasn't. <clears throat> and so the situation is now that he's been referred to the parole board. And what is really being asked of everybody, all the supporters and the community at large, is to, to give him that support, that much needed support, so that actually he does not get uh, denied his parole. He's going up on March, uh, excuse me, April the 4th, I believe. Um, so if you go to the website, um, Matulu is welcome here. Matulu is welcome here, and indeed he is welcome here. Wherever we reside, he is welcome here. And that website would give you specific detailed instructions about how to render the most focused uh, support that we can give him in terms of writing and calling the pro board. And what, we're, what Matulu is really asking is that, that we give a good narratives about his accomplishments and how he has progressively and positively impacted the lives, our lives, and the lies of our youth coming up and all the things that he has done uh, to advance the cause of freedom and self-determination and a better way of life, human rights for everybody. So that again, that website is uh, Matulu is welcome here because what is happening is that the, we anticipate the pro board to uh, paint the negative narrative, which we are constantly fighting against to show that we're showing the valor and in the conditions that necessitated uh, our freedom fighters to take the positions that they have taken in the past. And the pro board and those that uh, on that side of the defense, if you will, for lack of a better term, are painting the narrative that he's a danger to society. A danger to society. What society? Who? So we really have to challenge and combat that, that, that narrative. And the best way to do that is go to that. And That's I know like, that the, the, the parole okay. board was not so kind recently to Sundiata Okoli. Could you first if you would uh, recap for, for our audience who Sundiata is and why he's uh, locked up, uh, and then tell us if that narrative that you were just describing played a role in his recent denial of parole. Exactly the same condition. So uh, our comrade brother, our dear brother, uh, uh, Sundiata Kohli was uh, Sister Sal Shakur's rap partner. So back in 1973 on the New Jersey Turnpike, there was a shootout uh, and interaction uh, interaction with the New Jersey State Police where one state trooper was killed. And they were charged with that, that, that homicide. Uh, Brother Zaid Malik Shakur, the third of the three that was in the vehicle, was shot to death, killed by the police. Asada Shakur herself escaped in uh, November 2nd, 1979. And uh, Sundiata, he's been in prison now for 42 years. He's well served the time, even if you look at it as a crime you know, for that offense, that alleged offense. And so the same situation there, the, the, the appellate court ordered his release over a year ago. The government appealed that, and now it's to the Supreme Court. Now the Supreme Court remanded him back, meaning sent him back for the whole entire parole process. And we fear the same situation as with Dr. Matua Sikor. So once again, I'm going to uh, Sundiata Akoli's website, just Google his name and show you specific ways that you can support him. His lawyers are now trying to establish a pro hearing so he can go and have this opportunity to be free. It's very important that if we talk about support, not just lip service of our freedom fighters, our, 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 those that have fought for us to be where we are today. Uh, we really need to kick it in and support them. So Matulu Sikor, Matulu's welcome here. Sundiata Kohli's website, just to Google his name. There are also some other uh, prisoners, uh, political prisoners going up uh, this year. Herman Bell's going up this month. He's a New York uh, political prison part of New York Three, uh, Black Panther Party member, um, as well as Jalil Abdul Mutakin, and a brother by the name of Robert Seth Hayes, who has a lot of medical issues also. Robert Seth Hayes, Jalil Abdul Mutakin, Herman Bell, 
all these names, you can access them on the Jericho, the Jericho movement.com website or by their names individually, because these brothers, as with Matulu and Sundiata, they have their own defense committees. Well, Jihad Abdul Abulmeet, we thank you very much again for joining us here at the Real News Network and for keeping us abreast of all these latest uh, occurrences with political prisoners. We greatly appreciate you taking the time. And likewise, our brother Jared, thank you for the opportunity to present the information to our sisters and brothers in the communities. Thank you. Peace. And thanks to all of you out there, wherever you are. Again, for all involved, I'm Jared Ball here in Baltimore saying, as Fred Hampton used to say, to you we say peace if you're willing to fight for it. So peace, everybody, and we'll catch you in the whirlwind.